good morning. Hello. Hiya. Good morning, guys. Hope you're all okay. Hello. <laughs> Hiya. Not in my usual spot, am I? Sat on the floor. Hope you're all okay. Hello, everybody. Good morning. Who's on, um, who's on Facebook today? Come on, give us a shout. It's Friday, everybody. I hope you're all right. I'm just laughing because um, I had um, avocado on toast for breakfast, like a treat, Friday treat. My husband was like, that's an extravagant breakfast. <laughs> he was laughing at me. I was like, well, it's Friday. Good morning. Hope you're all okay. Anyone else having extravagant breakfast? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I hope you're all okay. Lovely to see you. Um, so we're going to get started and I'm sat here for a strange reason, but a good reason. I'm sat here because, what's that hanging down? Oh, a bag. It's annoying. Um, I'm sitting here because we're going to do a little bit of a play activity on the fridge this morning. I hope you're all okay. Um, someone just, I think someone was asking, sorry, because I'm sat a bit far away. I'm struggling to read. The text is so small. I'm starting to wonder if I might need glasses, actually. Um, anyone asking, these uh, magnetic letters are from um, Lidl. Were they Lidl? Yeah, they're Lidl. Uh, magnetic letters. Um, and what's really lovely about them, I think they only have letters. I've not seen numbers, I don't think. Um, is that they have capitals and lowercase, which is brilliant, uh, which is what we always want. If if you can, it's not always easy, but if you can, and I think they're in at the moment. These were actually last year's, but I've seen that they've been brought back again. So anyone, good morning, Kitty on Facebook. Um, anyone looking for some number and letters, um, sorry, anyone looking for some magnetic letters, um, these are from Lidl, can't remember how much, I don't think a lot, but we've definitely got our money's worth, we've definitely had good old play with them. They stay on the fridge permanently in our house, um, and what's really nice is that they do contain lowercase and uppercase, and have some really lovely jazzy patterns on. You get like star ones, stripy ones, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, anyone looking for magnetic letters, head on over to Lidl. I'm thinking bad 99 but I don't know where I've got that from. I can't actually remember. It was a couple of, it was last year. So let me know if you've seen if you've seen them seen them recently and if you know how much they are to share. Or maybe you've seen some other magnetic letters and numbers as well that you've thought um, were really good and have been great. Because I must admit I used to have the cheap plastic ones, but they're really nice because the little metal bit comes out the back and that can be really dangerous if you've got a little one putting them in the mouth. Um, so these are nice because they're nice and solid as well. Okay, so um, a few activities for us this morning, uh, a few bits and pieces depending on what you're doing. I've actually been inspired because um, literally at something like um, 9.53 I hadn't decided what we were going to do this morning and I'm currently writing a blog post um, of some ideas. Oh, lovely to have you Ellie, welcome, nice to see you. Um, I was, I've just been writing a blog piece actually to help with something we were talking about ages ago. Anyway, and um, so this is one of the activities featured in it, is it, it's included in it. So one, I thought, actually, let's do that this morning, shall we? And I've not done it for ages with Mason, um, and I've got him at home with me today. So um, Mr. Tumbles babysitting for me, which is always kind. So we're going to crack on, we'll get it set up, and then actually I can let Mason play. You never know if we're lucky, he might come along and play, but he's going through that phase of not wanting any cameras on him, any photos taken. Oh, you should have seen him at Disneyland, trying to get him to let me have his... Take his photo, honestly. Anyway, so um, so yeah, so I've got some nice activities for us to do. So I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the letters. I'm gonna put all that I've got a tray down here. Um, just because, just like, you know how I say about with our, um, with toys, um, having too many toys out, it can be overwhelming. Too much of something can have a negative effect. Um, bit like too much effort. Um, but it can have a negative effect on children. It can be overwhelming. It can be hard for them to make a decision. Um, and it can actually put them off through engaging in an activity. I thought this was going to be a lot easier than it is. Hang on, let me get these all down. And it's a bit like having too much choice, isn't it? 
when there's too much on the menu, it's impossible to decide what, what you want when you go out for dinner. Um, and it can be the same for children trying to make a decision if you've got too many toys out, something like that. But also if you've got too many, um, like I've got all the letters, all the capitals and the lowercase. It just gets too much. It's too much for the eyes, too much for them to focus on, and they'll end up walking away. So I would always, if you're doing a set activity, I'd always clear the fridge and take them all off um, and put them separately on a tray, something like that. And then you can pick some out, and particularly picking out those letters that are um, of significant meaning to your child. So normally those that are in words that either they're recognising, such as their name, the letters in their name are so important to them, it's so personal. Um, that they like the letters in their name and then you could maybe pick out a few extras that maybe they're starting to spot or maybe starting to recognise or maybe taking an interest in, something like that. So it's always it's always really useful to um, less is more, less is more um, and giving them less choice for whenever you do an activity. You can always add to it but it's much harder than trying to take them away. So a nice activity, get on with it Claire, I know I'm talking a lot this morning. So a nice activity we're going to do Oh, lovely. Ellie is saying, I work in a nursery in a baby room and the less toys we have out, the better they play. Thank you, Ellie. Yes, very, very true. Um, okay, so all I'm doing, I've got some washi tape here. I could not find my big blob of blue tack anywhere. Blue tack would be a lot easier. And all I'm doing, I'm just going to quickly stick up some paper because what's fab about this, particularly if you've got a magnetic fridge, um, is that the letters can still stick to the paper through the thing. I don't know whether the card isn't quite as effective. Um, and then the idea is, I've got a sharp, I've just realised I've got Sharpie. What are the chances of me writing on the paper and it marking the fridge? Don't know, let's gamble. Oh, we're all right, we're okay. I just thought if I wrote Mason, my husband would go mad, wouldn't he? So the idea with this activity is really lovely. Great if you've got a little one taking an interest in their name, taking an interest in numbers and letters, maybe making words or just simple um, letters and things like that. Uh, and it can be really useful. Our fridge isn't magnetic. Oh dear, I'm looking for a magnetic easel at the moment. I'm pretty sure um, IKEA have one or Early Learning Centre have them. Might be worth having a look. Yeah, just to see. If not, actually, sorry, if not, Vicky, um, on Facebook, a baking tray, if you've got a lovely, clean, newish baking tray, works really well as a mobile magnetic board. So if you've got ha one handy, have a little go with that and see if that works, and that might be better. All right. Yeah. Okay, so let's crack on then, guys, shall we? Um, so just with this activity what you could do um, is just an idea of using some of the letters out of your little one's name remember when you're doing your child's name whenever we're playing with our child's name we start with the capital and the rest are lowercase please please try not to teach your children doing all capital letters obviously it depends on the letters that you've got in your magnetic set but if you can stick with um, a capital and then some lowercase 